Hello everyone, this is Rick and welcome to the another episode of King Sacrifice. So today in this video I'm gonna talk about one of the greatest game ever played by Max Yui. So he was the fifth official chess world champion. So he was a Dutch grandmaster, a mathematician, an author and chess administrator. He served as president of World Chess Federation from the year 1970. 1978 so in this game he was against Richard Reddy so without wasting any time let's start our video so here you we played e4 Reddy replied with move c6 so this is the car on defense d3 d5 e takes on d5 c takes on d5 bishop to b2 knight to c6 so here, you will play the move g3. The computer suggests here why should have played the move bishop to b5. After g3, the move e5 was played. Bishop to g2, bishop to e6, queen e2. So here, black just played the move queen to c7. The computer suggests that the queen would have moved to the d7 square in order to exchange the garden bishop of white that is on the g2 square so after queen to c7 knight to f3 was played to which f6 white castles bishop to d6 knight to c3 so over here instead of knight to c3 the move d4 would have been played to which e4 c4 and you notice that black can't really take on the f3 knight because of queen takes on e6 give me check if my g2 e7 then bishop takes on f3 so it looks like white is just crushing black in this position but in the game knight to c3 was played to which a6 d4 knight g2 e7 d takes on e5 bishop captures on e5 Knight recaptures on the e5, f recaptures on the e5, rook a to d1, anti castles. So you can see that black is just castling on the queen side so that he could attack on the king side. Rook f to e1, h5, knight to a4, e4, f3. So here well, I just played f3, but the computer suggests that bishop takes on g7 would have been played after which rook at 7 bishop to b2, king to b8, knight to c5, bishop to g4, f3, e takes on f3, bishop takes on f3, would have been okay for white. But after f3, the move h4 was played, f takes on e4. So here black would have played d4 after each knight to c5. Instead, the move h takes on g3 was played, after which e takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, bishop takes on d5. So from now here, black is already losing this position because in the game black played knight takes on d5, but if rook catches on d5. Queen e6 check attacking twice on the d5 square with the rook on d1 and the queen. So here, if the move rook d7 to block the check would have been played, rook to d7, and after queen takes on d7, knight to b6 forking the king and the queen. So here, if queen to d7, then in knight to b6 for in the king and the queen so if the king tries to just get away from the check by playing king to b8 then rook takes on d5 knight takes on d5 queen takes on d5 
And now here white is just a piece of in the game knight takes so knight takes on d5 was played after which again queen to e6 if you're queen to d7 then knight to b6 check and if knight takes on b6 rook takes on d7 so black's queen is gone over here but in the game the move king to b8 was played after which rook takes on d5 gaining a piece so here rook d to e8 was played knowing that if the king tries to refute, then the rook will just capture on the e1 square. So instead, white here just exchange the queen with two of the black rooks and a knight. So which is not very bad for white. Instead, he is just winning in this position. After king to a7, rook d to d8 was played, and in the game the move b6 was played. You see that the knight cannot capture on the d8 rook because of bishop to b4 check after which king to a8, knight to b6 and after king to b8, bishop to b5 and pinning the queen and so on winning the piece. So if here are the king to a7 then giving a check with the bishop and on the other move discovering the queen on c7. So that is why the move b6 was played, leaving the b7 square for the king. And again, here white played a very amazing move that is bishop to a3. Noticing that again, if the knight takes on d7, then rook to e7, giving a pinning. So g takes on h2, after which king to h1. So here Black just made the last attempt of making a draw after going to f7 so that he will get some perpetual checks from this pile. But white here just straight away won the game after rook to e7. So here it is uh, black can just take with the queen after which bishop takes on e7, knight takes on d8 bishop takes on d8 so black is just losing in this position but in the game black just chose to get checkmated after knight takes on e7 was played rook takes on d7 so it, it will just be made in a few moves after king to a8 knight takes on b6 king to b8 and bishop to d6 it looks a fabulous checkmate so in this game we just saw that black position was very nice and it seems seemed like black is just attacking the white king but instead it turned out to be a winning position for white so that was a, one of the game played by max huey so if you like this video let me know by clicking on the like button below the video and also support us by subscribing our channel Thank you for watching and see you on the next episode.